MMA boxing talk here. I wanted to put out a video talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Tony Ferguson, um, and why, you know, Khabib, even if Khabib beats Michael Johnson this Saturday, regardless, the winner of that fight does not deserve a title shot before Tony Ferguson does. Tony Ferguson has done enough to deserve that title shot. This video is going to be in two parts. First is going to be talking about Ferguson and why he deserves the title shot. And second is going to be because, or why Khabib doesn't deserve the title shot. And how it's ridiculous how Khabib became the number one contender after only having one big significant win in his career. Um, and it's because of all the success RDA had. Without all that success RDA had, Khabib does not become the number one contender. And of course Khabib beat him. Tony Ferguson also did beat RDA too. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Tony Ferguson, nine fight win streak. Nine fight win streak. Who can say that? Only two other guys in the UFC right now. Max Holloway's got nine fight win streak. And Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson has ten. John Jones has 13, but he's not in the UFC right now. Anyway, Ferguson, much more active. He's more active fighter. He has a better resume as well. Khabib's only big significant win was against RDA, and that's almost three years ago. It was April of 2014. That's Khabib's only big significant win. Now, Tony Ferguson's win over RDA was more impressive. They were both impressive wins. You know, Khabib, when he beat RDA, it was an impressive win. It was a grappling domination. But... I hate when Joe Rogan keeps saying it was he ragdolled RDA. He didn't ragdoll RDA. Being ragdolled is what Daniel Cormier did to Dan Henderson. Okay, he can he, he dominated him, but he didn't ragdoll him. Um, now, you know RDA. It's not that he did bad against Tony Ferguson either. He did good, but Ferguson was just amazing. You know. Um, Plus, it was a five-round fight. You know, the fact that Tony Ferguson beat RDA in a five-round fight more recently is more impressive than RDA beating, RDA losing to Khabib th almost three years ago in a three-round fight. It's just that it's just that simple, right? Now, I also want to talk about and ask the question and explain why. How the hell did Khabib ever become the number one contender? He's only ever beat just for just for uh, the record. Khabib Nurmagomedov has only ever beat two ranked opponents in his whole UFC career. Um, and that is Rafael Dos Anjos, almost three years ago, when Rafael Dos Anjos was only ranked number five. And Dos Anjos, only, his only big significant win at that time was Donald Cerrone. Now he's got way more significant wins on his record. He's a more better fighter today than he was three years ago, despite having lost twice. So, you know... The reasons why Khabib became number one contender is because, like I said earlier, because of RDA's success, that's the only reason. Like, if RDA, after him losing to Khabib, when, like, when Khabib beat RDA, if RDA retired and never fought in the UFC again, there's no way Khabib ends up being the number one contender because he was inactive. He was on the shelf. It was because RDA had, a tear, had an amazing tear became champion, defended the title, Khabib slowly moved up. I mean, it's ridiculous. Khabib's inactivity, I mean, it's mind-blowing. Um, you know, he beats RDA in April of 2014 and then does not fight for two and a half years. This April, he fought Daryl Horcher, who was making his UFC debut, who had already had a loss on his record before the UFC, and has a full-time job. He's a uh, project manager, full-time. So this guy, Daryl Horcher, shouldn't even been in there with Khabib. So Khabib, you know, that's why I'm glad they're giving him this Johnson fight. He didn't deserve the title shot. Even a win over Michael Johnson, in my opinion, doesn't deserve the title shot because, yes, Johnson had a had a good win, knockout win over um, Dustin Poirier. But but other than that, he's. He hasn't been that great in the last few years. Yes, he beat Tony Ferguson, but that was in 2012. That's a total different time. You know, both guys are different fighters now. Ferguson's, of course, way better now. 
Um, and it's not like he got dominated by, Ferguson didn't get dominated by Michael Johnson there. So, you know, it, it's very interesting. Uh, it always kind of blows my mind how people think Khabib deserves the title shot. But really, they should be asking themselves, how did this guy even become the number one contender? His only one big win is, is almost three years ago. And I, and I, I don't want to be a hater, but the facts are the facts. Tony Ferguson is on a roll. He's on a roll. Not to mention, how can you how can you not give the title shot to Ferguson and give it to to um to Khabib before Ferguson when they were supposed to fight twice and that never happened? So at least if you're not gonna give the title shot to Ferguson, at least make Khabib fight Ferguson for the title. You know what I mean? The winner of that will face will get a title shot. You know, a title eliminator fight. Khabib, if he wins, if he beats Johnson, have him fight Ferguson. And the winner gets the title shot. Or you just give it to Ferguson. It, it, it's ridiculous. How can you be so inactive, only have beaten two ranked opponents, and you're the number one contender? And, and um, it's nothing against um, Michael Johnson. But Michael Johnson's not the fighter RDA is right now. You know, a win over Michael Johnson is solid. It's it's impressive. But Michael Johnson, you know, he's not even a top five fighter. He's a great fighter. It's a stacked division. But he's ranked number six. He's got a win over, I think, Poirier was ranked number eight. He was on a good little tear. But, I mean, it just doesn't, it just doesn't grant you a title shot, especially after all that inactivity. Just ridiculous, you know. It blows my mind. So that's why... I had to make up this video. Tony Ferguson deserves this shot. Um, it's He faces the winner of Conor already. It has to be that way. I mean, he's a more exciting fighter for one. And that that's, that doesn't, that's not the reason. Because I don't hate Khabib. I just don't like the fact that we're giving him more, people are giving him more credit than he deserves. And he's an amazing grappler. He's phenomenal, elite. Probably the best gra grappler in the UFC. But he's very one-dimensional. He is a boring fighter to most people. Um, and I respect his skills. I'm not saying I don't respect... I just... He's a boring fighter compared to Tony Ferguson. Um, and, you know, Ferguson's done more. He's been more active. I keep repeating myself, but it's the truth. Anyway, I had to put out this video. Um, and I will be campaigning for Tony Ferguson to get a next title shot. Uh, and I'll be putting out a video maybe later this week about that. And for those of you uh, who you know, want some more information about Khabib and his history. I made a video about a month ago and it was, the title is Proof That Khabib Has Not Done Enough for a Title Shot. And I go through his whole UFC career. I watched all the fights over again and he only beat two ranked opponents. Um, and this will be his third. This is Khabib's only third ranked opponent in his career. So... Michael Johnson is going to be the third ranked opponent in Khabib's career. He's never, Khabib's never beat anyone inside the top five. You know, RDA was ranked number five when he beat him. It's not RDA that was on this wicked tear. It was before that, you know? So it is what it is. If you think I'm a hater, it is what it is. The truth hurts, and I got the facts. I did my homework. Tony Ferguson deserves it more. He just does. That's it for this one. If you liked the video, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter at MMA Boxing Talk One. Peace.